Welcome to Mathematics with M's Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 2, Question 3. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, this is Question 3, of course, based on analytical geometry. So, in this diagram, points A, B, C are given. A is 4 and 2, B is 6 and minus 4, C is negative 2 and negative 3. They are the vertices of triangle A, B, C. T is the point of C, B. The equation of line A, C is given as 5x minus 6y equals to 8. The angle of inclination of A, B is alpha. Triangle D, C, T is drawn such that C, D is parallel to B, A. The lines AC and DT intersect at S, the Y-intercept of AC. P, F, and R are the, in, are the X-intercepts of DC, AC, and AB, respectively. So they, that explains the sketch. You must calculate the gradient of AB, the size of alpha, the coordinates of T, coordinates of S. Determine the equation of CD in the form Y equals to MX plus C. Calculate the size of angle DCA and the area of, tri of, of POSC. Right, 3.1. Calculate the gradient of AB. If you look at AB, then A coordinates are 4 and 2, B is 6 and minus 4. So you use the gradient formula, which appears on the formula sheet. So 2 minus a negative 4 over 4 minus 6, or you can switch it around. You can say negative 4 minus 2, and of course 6 minus 4. Either way, you'll get the answer of negative 3. Now the size of alpha, you can see alpha is the angle of inclination on AB. So therefore, it should be the 10 of alpha. So already we know the gradient is negative 3. So 10 of alpha is negative 3. Now remember to do this on the calculator as such. You do the shift 10 and you put in a positive 3 on the calculator. Please, not a negative 3, a positive 3. And when you get the answer, sub, that will be an acute value. Subtract that from 180 degrees and you should get 108,43. Right, coordinates of T. You'll notice that T is the midpoint of BC. So you use the midpoint formula as it appears on the formula sheet. So you add the two X values, divide by two, add the two Y values, divide by two, and you get T as two and negative seven over two. The coordinate of S, now you'll notice S appears on the line DT, and that equation is given. And also S is on the y-axis where X is zero. So therefore you substitute X equal to zero into that given equation and you find Y which is negative four third. So therefore coordinates of S is X zero and Y negative four thirds. Right, determine the equation of CD in the form Y equals to MX plus C. Now take note that CD and BA is given as parallel so therefore they share the same gradient therefore the gradient of cd is negative three so you can put it into your, your formula for the straight line and you get negative three equals to negative three into minus two plus c or you can use the, the other formula which is y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 either method you prefer do your substitution then you get y equals to negative 3x minus 9. Right, now we must calculate the size of angle DCA. Now have a good look, where is DCA? Right, so then you use the given formula, 5x minus 6y equals to 8, it was given to us. Then you make y the subject, and you get 5 over 6x minus 8 over 6. Why do we do that? So we want the gradient which is, our, is 5 over 6. So the 10 of theta is, of course, the gradient of AC, right? So therefore, 5 over 6. So on the calculator, shift 10 of 5 over 6 will give you theta, which is 39,81. Then angle A, of course, will be then the previous 108,43 done in the previous question. 
minus 39,81 and we get 68,62. So therefore, DCA is 68,62. Remember, it is the alternate angles because DC is parallel to AB. Then the area of POS, have a good look at where is POS. Now the FPS will be the area of triangle FPC minus the triangle of area OFS. So you first work out the area of FPC, which is a half times 4,6 times 3, minus area of OFS, so OFS is a half times 1,6 times 4 thirds, and therefore subtract the two, and the answer is 5,83 square units. This is uh, Mathematics with Amps, Ahmed Suleiman. Please give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.